What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how I was able to make $180 on Max Bounty, a CPA campaign offer, um, something new that I never really have done before. I got some teaching from a good friend of mine who is a CPA master, he gave me some tips so I just ran with it, tried it out. And I got $180 out of it. I lost some money, but it was a great learning experience. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. But before I do that, definitely subscribe, hit that alert button. And if you have any comments while you're watching this video, leave those down below. I would love to interact with you guys. And definitely follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Jelani the Marketer. Uh, and check out my blog as well, blog.jelanithemarketer.com. All right. So let's go right into it. So essentially, my friend, um, he is making about $100,000 plus a month with running CPA cam campaign offers. Now, this is something that I normally do not do. This is not my um, trade. This is not something that I have done to super successful levels, uh, but I found it really interesting that he can just run some ads on Facebook um, and then be able to get people to enter their email addresses and boom, um, make some money. So he's really, really good at it. He taught me some things, um, so I wanted to make a quick video. I'm not going to be sharing a lot of what he does, but just some tips and tricks that he gave me that maybe you can use in your CPA business, okay? So essentially what he does is he uses a tool called ClickFunnels. If you don't have ClickFunnels, all you have to do is click the link down below. You can get access to it. I'll actually share the exact funnel that we were using for this particular campaign. The campaign that we were running um, is on Max Money. Like I said, you have to have a Max Money account, but there's tons of CPA networks out there like Peerfly, um, at Vidi, there's at Vidi is a little hard to get into actually, but Max Bounty and Purefly are probably the easiest to get started with. Um, but this was a grocery offer. Now, what happens is they have to enter their email address. So we run an ad on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or YouTube, whatever the case may be. Uh, and what it does um, is we drive traffic to a landing page. They enter their email address. We get paid two dollars per lead. Um, so as soon as they enter the email address we get $2, okay? So that's the whole name of the game, just entering email address, email submits, so that we can get paid based on the email entered. Now, there are all different types of campaigns, um, but I had um, some really cool uh, success with this particular campaign in general. Um, so let's take a look at how it works, okay? So using ClickFunnels, we run a quiz, okay? So essentially what we're gonna be doing is saying asking three questions really simple questions just getting them in the pre-frame of giving us their email address before we send them to the landing page so we say how many times did you go grocery shopping per week right these answers do not matter it doesn't matter what they put here we're just trying to get them some incentive it's called micro commitments essentially where we're saying okay if you want this if you want this voucher then you have to give us a little bit of uh, more information um so we're gonna say two to four times this doesn't matter um, all this doesn't matter. So now once we do this, once we do this last one, what it does is it redirects them to this offer. Um, this is not going to work for me. So if I do this, it's not going to work because I'm not in, uh, New Zealand. Um, so it's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna it basically block me from seeing that offer. Um, so let's get out of there, but essentially that's how it works. And then they get redirected to this, um, to the page, they enter their email address and then we get paid $2. Now, like I said, I'll give you this funnel. All I have to do is click the link down below um, and then you'll be able to get access to that. Um, but how the ad looks, let's actually look at the ad. I'll actually show you guys the ad. Now, um, do me a favor. If, if you guys like this type of stuff, go follow my friend Colin. His, his name is Colin. He has a Facebook group actually that he shows you some really crazy techniques. He has a YouTube channel too. So um, let me show you his YouTube. Um, he's all about CPA. This is a, he's not paying me to plug him or anything like that. He's just a really good guy and he really knows what he's talking about when it comes to CPA marketing. Now, um, he's growing his channel really, really quickly. He just started this channel in December and it's only March 3rd and he has 1500 subscribers. So definitely go check his channel out. He's really, really a CPA master. Okay. Um, and he has a lot of different, um, tutorials talking about building campaigns from scratch. So I will not take credit for any of this. He taught me everything, so go learn from him. All right, but I'm just giving you some uh, ideas of how CPA marketing works. It works by email submits, and that is what he does. All right, so let's actually go look into um, some of these campaigns, actually. Um, all right, so none of these are running right now, but let's actually just change the time period to when I was running this. I, I can't remember when this was. It was kind of a long time ago, but I haven't made a video on it because, I don't know, I just, I just did it. So, um, I figured I would do one to show you guys 
the uh maybe it's even further back i can't remember oops august 1st august 1st to now All right, so I spent about $600 testing CPA marketing. Um, like I said, I lost money because um, I only made about $180. But the thing about CPA marketing is you have to test pretty aggressively to get anything going. Um, and I really, really wanted to get this working. So I finally did get some traction, but um, so I believe it's this one that was working decently. I mean, there's different metrics. Like I said, go check out College Channel. He gives you the, the rundown on the metrics um, and what looks good, what looks bad. Um, but essentially, you want to get your landing pages um, converting at really cheap clicks. So cheap, cheap clicks. Like, for example, 22 cents might sound super cheap, but it's really expensive. 13 cents is pretty good. Um, 5 cents is pretty darn good, actually. Um, so for example, like this is pretty good and the, the CTR is pretty good. So like, this is probably a really good campaign, um, to look for. But like I said, don't take my word for it. Go to Colin, uh, and, and check his, um, his, his videos out. But this is essentially how it works now. Let me give you, and you can see there's so many different campaigns that have to test. Um, and this is what Colin does. He tests so many ads um, and this is just for one campaign guys like this is ad sets in one campaign So I was testing really aggressively like I said, um, but let me show you how this ad worked. So essentially we're testing different images um, Compared to different copy. So you have to test different types of images different type types of copy to see what works and then you have to test um, the audience as well, right? So for this particular campaign, I was testing, I was running traffic to New Zealand. So I was running traffic to, to people who were 35 to 44 because they're uh, females who are going grocery shopping, right? That age group is going gro grocery shopping. Um, so I was spending about $10 a day. Um, my relevant score was a 10. Um, I got really a lot of link clicks. I, I Honestly, I should have probably kept this campaign going. Um, because it looks pretty good over time. Now, maybe during the time when I was running it, it probably didn't look good, but that's why you have to, one thing you have to do when you're running Facebook ads is look at a broader scope. Don't look at one day, look at two weeks, right? So you can really see how much tra traction your ad is getting. Um, so let's actually edit this ad and that can give you guys a little insider scoop on how this ad looked. Very simple, right? Many Kiwis talking, re referencing people from New Zealand. Uh, many Kiwis no longer pay when they buy their groceries and they do it in a completely legal way. See how? And you can do the same. And then it just this red circle is just to stop them in their tracks while they're on Facebook. Um, and then this image here, um, it's, just a, it's just a store uh, that's in New Zealand. It's pretty simple. And then this, will, this link leads back to the ClickFunnels page. They take the quiz. Again, a micro commitment. And then that micro commitment takes them to the place where they can enter their email address, get the voucher, and then we get paid two dollars. So that's why it's really important to test because you cannot go over a certain limit because we're only making two dollars per lead. Um, so you have to kind of make sure that your metrics and your numbers are really, really low so you can make a profit on the back. And that's why it's hard to kind of scale with this and make a lot of money. Colin's at the point where he's making about four dollars, maybe even more per lead. So he has more money to spend in terms of getting that getting um the ads to convert right we don't have that liberty so you kind of have to test really really aggressively um as, as far as i'm concerned so um this is essentially how how i was able to do that it's not a lot of money like i said i only made 180 dollars, but i learned a lot about it um so like i said go check out colin's youtube channel i'll, I'll post a link to colin's facebook group down below but definitely go on his youtube subscribe to his channel check his stuff out he's really really smart guy um, so if you want to learn more about CPA marketing, if you want to learn more about how this whole entire world works, it's a whole different type of world. Um, go check out his group, check out his YouTube, um, and check the, click the link down below if you want this share funnel. Um, but you have to have click funnels to use it. So definitely sign up for that. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, or suggestions, if you want more videos like this, comment down below, subscribe, hit the alert button. So you know when I post a new video, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.